everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 419. I'm Nate Moore. I helped a group this week that said, hey, Nate, we've got our data in a cube. We want a dashboard in Excel. Can you help us? And sure, we can make all kinds of tables and charts and information exactly the way you want to see it. So does the cube changes, the dashboard changes, and you can distribute it to whoever you'd like. When you're ready to make your data look really good in Excel, I'd love to help you. More macros today. If you remember, we've written macros that work on the active sheet, the worksheet that we're on. We've written macros that work in the same workbook, but on different worksheets in that workbook or in the same spreadsheet, just different tabs, if you will. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write a macro that's going to change in a different workbook, data or add or delete or whatever you want to do. So here's the code, workbooks, and then in parentheses and double quotes, the name of my spreadsheet, the name of my workbook, Macro Recorder Issues. And then I'm going to tell it what, with a period, the worksheets. And again, the parentheses and the quotes with the name of the worksheet I want to change. And then the, I'm going to change the cell value is what I'm going to do. So I'll click any place in here and let's run this thing. And the first thing I get is a pretty indecipherable error message. Runtime error 9, subject out of range. If you hit debug, it takes you to this line, and that gives me the clue that I've got a problem. And the problem is that this workbook isn't open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, and I am going to open Macro Recorder Issues. And then the thing I need to do is come back, and I need to get back to this spreadsheet, my original spreadsheet, and this tab. And the reason I do is because when I come back over now, Excel's opened the code on that tab as well, but that's okay. When I come back over here, remember these references work on this worksheet. So if I change and go to a different worksheet, this is going to get all worked up and change things because I'm not on the worksheet that Excel expects me to be on when I wrote this code. So all that said, now we're going to stop and try to rerun with Macro Recorder issues open. And it's nice to us. So we can go over and see what happened. We're going to change the value in cell A1 to 7. And we did. There's the 7. And the other thing we did was we changed cell A2. And I want to talk about how I changed cell A2. Notice this with and end construction. So what I'm going to do is with, and I'm going to put an object out here that says workbooks. And again, the, the parenthesis and the double quotes, here's the name of the workbook. Worksheets, here's the name of the worksheet, dot A2. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on cell A2 in sheet 2 in the spreadsheet called Macro Recorder Issues in that workbook. And then with this with construct, what I can do is I can put a dot, like I, I did a dot here and then dot 1, dot value, that kind of thing. By setting this up, I don't have to retype this whole experience every single time. With this with construction, what I can do is I can say dot value, that's going to be the value I put in the cell is 70, and the color index is 54. So sure enough, there's the 70. The color index made it 54. Notice how I changed the font color. Dot font is another thing I can change. And then dot color is a property of dot font. And RGB is the red, green, blue function or formula that's going to say 255, 255, and 255 actually turns the text to white. So three things in today's Excel video. If you want to access a workbook besides the workbook you're in when you write the code, number one, it's got to be open. And then workbooks, and then parentheses and quotes with the name of the workbook, parentheses and quotes the name of the worksheet, and you can access it. Second thing, with an end, I can set up this object here and say, all right, here's what I want to play with. And then dot value, dot interior index, dot font, dot color. I can do all kinds of things without having to retype this. Third thing is if you want to change the font color in a cell, here's how to do it. You identify the cell, dot font, dot color, and you can use red, green, and blue. And there's color pickers online that can help you see what color you're going to get with these three variables. And that with end construct can save you a bunch of typing. That's what I wanted to show you in today's Excel video. Stay tuned. I've got more macro fun in the next video. Thanks for watching.